You will know that not that long ago I actually did a get ready with me and it went completely wrong and the look turned out horrendous. Kind of like a compilation of me just having like a mini breakdown. So this has become my like new like day to day like soft glam quick get ready with me. This usually takes me maybe like 45 minutes. I don't think I've left the house without makeup on in maybe a couple of years now. I think people automatically assume that that's because I'm not confident in myself, which I don't think that's the case because I wouldn't be happy to post YouTube videos where I look like this at the beginning of them if that was the case. I think I just like makeup. It just makes me feel more, more confident and I've just like, completely contradicted myself. It does give me more confidence, but I don't feel like I have to have it. It's just something that I enjoy. Anyway, so in today's video, I thought I would do like an updated day-to-day -day get ready with me. This is the look that I would do if I was just going to go to the shops or just, you know, anything basic. Um, basically, any time that I'm just like, just need to get ready quite quick. So, okay, so I've just gone and dampened my beauty sponge. I've just realized that my aircon has been on for that entire, like, um, beginning part of the video. So, really, really sorry if that's, like, annoying. As always, I will do my absolute best to link all of these products down below. Obviously, everything that I use in this video is stuff that I really like because I use it on a daily basis. So, I will obviously tell you what I'm using and I will link all of it down below if I can. Some of the stuff is from places like Primark. So, you obviously cannot go to Primark at the moment because of lockdown. Okay, so I always start off my routine with Elf Matte Putty Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer so I find this is good because it definitely fills the pores so I just like to apply this to kind of the mid strip of my face and I do use quite a lot of this so now that I've applied the primer I'm gonna go in with foundation so my current favorite foundation is actually the PS my perfect color matte foundation from Primark this has been my favorite for a few months now when I first tried it I didn't like it very much um, but it's actually such a good foundation <laughs> Okay, so now that I've applied that all over my face, obviously it is a darker shade because I am tanned. This one is in shade Toffee, which is number 10. Um, I have a few different shades of this, but yeah, so that one is in shade Toffee. And the beauty sponge that I'm using is actually a Primark beauty sponge. You get two in a pack for £1.50 and honestly, they are so good. I don't actually know what is going on with my camera. I've had so many issues with my camera over the last like, three days. I'm not actually sure why it's paying up. So I'm just going to go in with the Revolution Banana Powder. Um, when I'm a bit more tanned like I am now, I use the normal banana one. Or if I'm pale, I'll use Banana Light. and literally just pop it all over my face. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have set my face down, I'm gonna go onto my brows. So for brows today, because I'm going for like a nat, it's not natural, but this is like my natural glam look. So um, I'm gonna go in with a light brow pomade. So this is the light brow pomade and powder duo by Technique. This is my absolute favorite. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Technique Ultra Fine brow pencil. Normally I would use the light one, but my light one has actually run out, so I'm going to have to use my medium one. Um, but the two together, it's going to look good. Okay, so 
so I've just done like a basic kind of infill of my eyebrows so I've not really extended my tails or anything and that was using the pomade powder duo I'm now going to move on to the precise um, pencil which is in medium because this one is in medium and obviously the pomade was light I'm gonna do a few flicks sort of through the brow just to add like some low lights and then I'm also gonna extend the tail with this if this one was in light which is the usual one that I would use I would just extend Okay, so that is like the basic kind of brows done. Um, I am also going to brush them up with a clear brow gel. Um, you can use any clear brow gel, it really doesn't matter which. So I'm using the Revolution Matte Blush in Pink Lady. This is a really, really nice like deep pink colour. And with my blush, I always like to bring it up because I feel like it lifts your whole face. So I apply it like kind of from here all the way up and back. Almost in the similar sort of place that you'd put your highlighter, but um, it doesn't matter if you go a little bit lower down as well. I used to hate blush, but I feel like now blush is probably one of the most important like face products in terms of like powders and stuff. I think it just adds so much life to your skin. And I always like to pop some on the underneath of my nose just because I feel like that brings your whole face together. And then I also pop a little bit just above my temples, just a really light amount just there and a little bit on my chin. For the bronzer today, we are gonna use the Primark Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. This one is in shade Fearless. My normal go-to bronzer is actually the MUA Bronze. I use either Solar 120 if I've got a tan or Solar 110 if I don't have a tan. Um, that's a really, really nice bronzer. But I've just started using this one. I've had it in my jaw for absolutely ages. I actually really like it. It blends so well, but it's also a really nice color. So with my bronzer, I always like to sort of start from the top and work my way down. So I'm gonna start on my forehead. I have got a absolutely massive 17 head. I put a lot of bronzer on my forehead to like help reduce the size of it. Okay, so I've just applied bronzer to my forehead and down onto my temples. So I really like to work it into the top corners and then kind of buff it into the middle. This looks crazy right now because I obviously haven't got the rest of my makeup on, but when it's all done, it really like makes your face look a lot more tanned and also like reduces the size of your forehead. So if you do suffer with a big forehead like me, then um, it's a good little hack. But if you don't have a big forehead, then don't do it because it will make your face look really small then we are just going to move on to the cheekbones so I always like to start near the ear and come forward I like quite a lot of bronzer on my cheekbones I know a lot of people don't that's fine it's personal preference and then we're going to take some more of that bronzer and we're going to go around the jawline if you are like me and you have got a double chin this is a really good way of tricking people into thinking you don't have a double chin you want to make sure you're going underneath because if you go too much onto the jaw you're going to create a beard and that is not a good look for anyone. You are now gonna grab a small fluffier brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that bronzer. Make sure you tap it off because you don't want too much when you're doing this and I'm just gonna lightly contour my nose. Um, I feel like I've got a massive nose so this is a really good way of like reducing the size of that. And then I will grab a clean buffing brush, so one like this, and I'm just gonna very gently buff over that. And then the last thing I'm gonna do with my bronzer is just grab another sort of small packing brush and I just go under my lip like so and I'm just gonna pop a little bit under there give it a little pat with my finger and that just creates the illusion of fuller lips so especially once I've got any lip product on that's gonna make my lips look a lot bigger okay so we're now moving on to highlights so I'm gonna use two different highlights today um, so my absolute favorite all-time go-to highlight is the Technique Mega Glow Quad Palette this is honestly amazing so this is only four pounds you get a white shade a kind of champagne gold um, like a coppery gold and a pure gold. These are some of the most intense highlighters I've ever used. They give you such a glow, but because this is my like toned down natural look, we don't use that all over the face. So the general highlighter that I'm gonna be using today for the majority of my face is actually this one, which is the PS Summer Storm Highlighter from Primark. This one is in shade Breeze. Almost like a baked highlighter, similar to the ones from MAC, and it's like a pink and a gold color. This one gives a really, really nice 
kind of gentle glow and especially if you are like me and you like to have a bit of a tan um this is a really nice kind of glowy tanned look um sort of highlighter if that makes any sense and i like to kind of just blend it back and then a little bit up onto the temple as well and there you go so it is still quite an intense highlighter um for some people but for me this is what i would class as like a subtle highlighter because it isn't like super duper intense so i'm just going to pop this on both my cheeks my chin the tip of my nose and my forehead and then i'm actually going to go in with the technique one for a few other places <laughs> So next I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller brush and then with the same highlighter I'm going to go in on the nose and just really like intensify that tip. You don't want to place it too low on the tip because it's going to make your nose look kind of fatter at the end. So if you want your nose to look kind of more like snatched and like thin um, then just be careful with how you place that on that tip. And then I also like to place just a little bit in here like so and a very thin line of it just along the top and then that is everything that we're going to do with this one then we're going to move on to the technique mega glow and i'm going to go with champagne shade and we're just going to pop a little bit of that on the cupid's bow and i'm also going to pop that one on my inner corners you'll see what i mean about this one being like really intense <laughs> because this is not taking much work at all. The brush isn't wet or anything. So like if you wanted to intensify this one even more, you could spray your brush down with some setting spray and that would make this one like so, so strong. And then I also like to just take a little bit more of this one and then on the very, very point of my cheeks, just pat a very small amount of this on. And then we're also gonna go in using that same shade and same brush just underneath the brows. If you haven't already watched my full brow tutorial, then go over and watch that video now. I will link it above my head. But in that video, I do state the importance of highlighting your brow bone. I think highlighting the brow bone is probably the most important thing that you can do for your brows. Even if you just use a little bit of moisturizer on your brow bone, it will lift your brows so much and give your face such a like youthful, lifted appearance. So for lashes today, I have a couple of kind of go-to favorites. So if you haven't already seen my backdrop renovation video, um, I will link it above my head. But this is basically how I like to store and organize my lashes now. So this is just a jewelry organizer from Amazon. And then I pop some little post-it notes in there and I can write the name and where I got the lashes from. So that if I need to replace them, I know which ones they were. This isn't all my lashes, but what I tend to do is keep one of each side style of lash that I own in here and then I also have a drawer that's full of like new pairs. I think that's a really really good way of doing it because A it gives you a really quick clear view of all the different lash styles that you have and B if you have a friend who needs a pair of lashes you can make sure you're giving them like a fresh clean pair that you know you've never worn because they're all still in the boxes. So the ones I'm going to use today are these ones here which are from Amazon and these are called Shindy G106 lashes. I will link these ones down below but like you can see they are longer on the outside and shorter on the inside. I think that's a really flattering um, kind of look especially on my eye shape. Um, so those are the ones I'm going to use today. So one of my other favorites for like a day-to-day -day look is these ones just here. These ones are Doll Lashes from Doll Beauty in style Jasmine. And then the other pair that I like to use for like a natural lash look are these ones just here. And these ones are once again from Doll Beauty. These are Doll Lash in style Taylor. These are actually very, very similar to the ones that I'm gonna use today from Amazon, but the Amazon ones are slightly fuller and thicker. But the ones from Amazon are absolutely fantastic. You get four in a pack, I think, and I wanna say they're maybe like six pound. So honestly, such a good deal. And obviously, lashes are reusable if you look after them properly. So to attach my lashes today, I'm gonna to go in with the Duo Glue. This is my absolute favorite lash glue. Um, just be careful with this though. If you are allergic to latex, make sure you don't buy this one they do have a range of latex free options um but personally i like the latex one best because it has like a bit of stretch to it so it's really really comfortable on the eye you can use any mascara when you're applying lashes today i'm using this one which is the ps wonder lash from primark 
this is a knockoff of a Benefit mascara, I want to say. Um, this one is really good for if you're going to wear lashes. It doesn't give your lashes great coverage, but it's quite a sticky, like, wet formula. So when you then apply your lashes on top, they kind of stick together quite nicely. So that's why I like to use this one when I'm going to apply lashes. Now I'm going to apply some of the Duo Glue to my lashes. So I'm just going to let that set down for maybe like 20 to 30 seconds. What I find with the duo glue is that it doesn't matter how long you leave it, it will not dry until it touches your skin. But then I find once it's actually applied to the lash, it will dry down within like a minute or so. Okay, so I've literally just applied that lash. So obviously just going to let that dry down now. Um, don't fiddle around with it too much. Just once you've got it in position, just let it do its thing. Just so you know as well, I have just put the air con back on. It is so hot in here. Like I feel like I'm going to faint if I don't have it on. So I'm really sorry if you can hear it, but my health is more important. Okay, so I've just finished applying the lashes. They don't look perfect yet because I haven't integrated them properly. Now I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and I'm just going to remove any makeup from my lips. So because this is like my natural day-to-day -day glam look and obviously in summer it's quite warm um, I just like to go in with a lip butter and then a lip oil on my lips just so it's nice and hydrating and it's not going to be sticky or like fussy or anything like that so I'm just going to use the PS Priming Lip Butter um, from Primark you can use any lip balm for this and then I'm just going to top that with this which is the Technique Lip Oil this one is in mint it gives you that fabulous shine but it's really hydrating and not sticky at all this is such a good alternative to a gloss because like I said, it is not sticky at all. So this looks amazing, like a proper glossy lip, um, but it's really, really hydrating and not sticky at all. So it's a win-win all round. Okay, so now that I've given my lashes a few minutes just to dry down, I'm gonna go back in with my mascara. And I just like to take the tip of the mascara wand where that excess little wet bit of mascara is. And I'm just gonna lightly apply that wet mascara along my natural lashes. Then what I do is take my fingers and I clamp my lashes onto the faux lashes and I will lightly press up as well. And this just makes sure that your lashes are integrated correctly and you're not gonna have like two layers of lash, so like the false ones and your natural ones. This is a really, really great tip if you've got naturally quite straight eyelashes. And then I just like to top all of the lash with another coat of mascara which once again just helps with the integration. And then just make sure you wipe your fingers off on a makeup wipe because you don't want to get mascara everywhere. There we go, and that is how I integrate my lashes. So I think it looks so much better, so much more open and like bright. Um, so I really, really like how that makes your lashes look. I just think it makes them look a million times better. Then I'm gonna grab a tiny bit more of that mascara and just do a very light coat on the roots of my bottom lashes. The reason I don't go the full way with my bottom lashes is because they are really long and it kind of makes my eyes look a bit too like intense for like a daily look. And there we go. So I'm just gonna finish this whole thing off with a little bit of setting spray. My current favorite is the I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray in Cookies and Cream. It doesn't smell like cookies and cream, it smells like kind of spicy. I don't really know how to describe it, but it smells really, really good. I have so many different setting sprays and I've tried loads of different ones. This is currently my favorite. I find it definitely helps to keep your makeup on longer. Um, and I think it makes your highlight and all your like glowy points really pop. And there we go. So that is my finished day-to-day -day glam look. Make sure you don't touch your face whilst your setting spray is drying because it will lift your makeup, which is obviously the opposite of what you want it to do. Okay, so I've just gone and sorted out my hair and gotten changed. So I'm now ready to go out on my little isolation walk. So this has been my quick go-to get ready with me glam look. This is just my day-to-day -day makeup, um, kind of just what I would do if I was going to the shop or whatever. Like I said, this hasn't taken me very long. This has taken 45 minutes to do, so pretty easy and quick. Yeah, that's 
pretty much it. Also, I know I'm going to get questions about this top. It says Palm Springs on it, and this is from Primark last year, so I'm not sure if they're going to have it this year. Like I said before, all of the products featured in today's video will be linked down below. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did enjoy watching today's video, please don't forget to leave me a massive like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments for me regarding today's video, please feel free to leave it all down below in the comment section for me. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account. I'll pop all the details on screen right now and they will also be linked down below in the description box. And without further ado, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye.